Consider yourself a tourist in a nation where your tour guide is a robot. Another option is that a robot is presenting the early morning news. Or perhaps even the customer care representative at the nearby phone assistance center is a robot. This is the present, not a dream or something that will happen in the future. In today's innovative and technologically advanced world, an increasing number of businesses are developing incredibly human-like robots that will collaborate closely with real people in the hospitality or customer service industries. In light of this, it is clear that these robots are designed to resemble humans as closely as possible to even act like humans. Even if you can still tell them apart from humans now, there might be a day in the future when you believe you are speaking with a human, but it turns out to be a robot. Let's look at the top five humanoid robots in Russia right now, though, for the time being. Number five, Realbotics Abyss Creations. AI loves dolls harmony. Realbotics, a venture started by Mac McMullen of Abyss Creations in California in 2015, is a well-known forerunner. Sadly, because Abyss Creations is a private firm, investors interested in the maker of Lovebots are unable to purchase any of its stock. If you like watching TV and movies, chances are you see McMullen's work. The real doll, a very popular silicone love doll made by Abyss Creations, has been featured in a number of films and television programs, including Lars and the Real Girl and Sons of Anarchy. Harmony, a California-based love robot. The Harmony robot operates by linking via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to an artificial intelligence Android program called Harmony AI. Rio's buttocks have been in development since 2016. It can tell jokes, talk dirty, and make realistic noises and facial expressions during intercourse. Anyone can download the Harmony AI app to their smartphone, create an avatar, and begin establishing contact with their virtual partner. According to Robotics, Harmony AI is capable of learning its users' moods, preferences, and behavior patterns, and responding accordingly, given the impression of intimacy. Realbotics company is also developing a variety of sensors that expand the ways the robot can respond to human, touch sensors, internal heaters, fluid chambers, and even cello dilled onyx, a technology that enables remote control of love toys, are among these. These are the projects for AI love dolls and robots that we are aware of, but it's almost clear that there are folks out there who have been trying to make their own love bots in secret. Robotic lovers are still somewhat taboo, despite the interest with them in news headlines and science fiction. Even the creation of love robots has drawn criticism. Those who have showcased their works in public have also had to cope with jeers. It follows that other projects are probably in the works but won't be made public until they reach a specific standard of quality and realism. Number four, Dasha. In Moscow, Russia's public service center, Dasha and Alex, two human-like robots created by the Promobot firm, are visible and prepared to assist guests. On December 21st, 2020, according to reports, the robots are modeled after firm co-founder Alexei Yushevkov, and Russia hasn't hesitated to put them to use. At Tom State University in Siberia, a robot instructor is slated to begin teaching robotics. Another was set in the Bergen City Science Center in Norway last year. Unlike a person, the robot generally recalls what they were taught. They don't need to spend time studying the material or trying to retain the information, remarked the co-founder and director of development for Prombot. Number three, love robots named Lolita, Shasha, Natasha, Alicia, and Isley. In the middle of the Moscow City Business District's tall skyscrapers, the Dolls Hotel recently opened its doors. According to the owners, there are five love robots named Lolita, Sasha, Natasha, Alicia, and Isla ready for clients. The legal brothel contains rooms that range in price from $17.75 to $29.50 per hour. One of them is called Fantasy and has a dungeon. After paying for the robot, the total cost increases to about $60 per hour, which may also take into account the possibility that the FSB counterintelligence service will bug the room. We really are waiting for a flood of tourists during the World Cup, and we look forward to many foreign clientele, notably from England, a hotel spokesman said. 36% of Russians, according to the hotel's co-founder, Dmitry Alexandrov, are dissatisfied with their love lives. He stated, referring to prostitution, that establishing a full-scale leisure adult center in Russia is not only a legal and safe method to improve your love life, but is also a step towards eliminating one of the oldest problems in Russia, the brutal exploitation of women. Additionally, it is quite beneficial to those who suffer from psychiatric diseases. For instance, 
30% of consumers in Spain have psychological or medical issues. According to international norms, the dolls are professionally cleaned with special solutions after each client. He asserted that doing so ensures there's no chance of infection. According to him, some guys just cannot change their love relationships with women on their own, which results in underlying unhappiness, which can then develop into hostility. This problem can only be resolved by a skilled call lady who is willing to listen to him out and fulfill his love dreams in exchange for payment. Number two, Robo C2. Robot Robo C2 resembles a person. It can replicate human behavior and take on any person's looks. The robot helps your company stand out from the competition and draws in new customers. Robo C2 maintains the discussion by holding an infinite number of interaction scenarios. It offers individualized services, disseminates marketing messages, and provides details about the goods offered by your business. Any human can pass with a robot. Its appearance can be completely changed, according to Promobot. A humanoid robot can be utilized in a variety of settings. An American business that plans to install Prombot's RoboC robots in malls, airports, and other public places in North America and the Middle East is said to have a specific need for a face and voice. Though they both basically possess the same capabilities, the RoboC features a human face as opposed to the V4 device's more conventionally robotic appearance. The company stated that anyone over 25 can apply for the post on their website and that characteristics such as age, gender, and color are not taken into consideration when choosing the face. The company will create a 3D model of the winner's physiques and face, and the individual pick must record more than 100 hours of speech in order to create a synthetic replica that can speak any language required by Prombot's customers. The robot will then begin to materialize in 2023 with a look and speech based on the selected individual. Number 1. Alicia the 2045 Initiative Organization, formerly known as Russia 2045, debuted the first lifelike Russian android head a few months ago, modeled after its creator, Dmitry Iskov. He strongly supports the prophetic idea of the technological singularity and predicts that by the year 2045, we will have perfected the technology to implant human thoughts into computers and android bodies. His surrogate android was created and programmed by the Moscow-based company Neurobotics, which was then disassembled and transformed into the nation's first female android. Since the silicon mass was created by an employee of Neurobotics, Alicia's face may appear relatively lifelike at first. Alicia has eight points of articulation, compared to the more than 30 points than other androids' heads can have. This turns out to be just enough to provide its eyes and lips, which are controlled by a typical gamepad, some movement. A mannequin with the head attached stands on wheels for mobility, Thanks to the company's conversational software, which synchronizes lip movement with the words produced by its speech synthesizer, Alicia has some fundamental AI. The interactions offered by the very simplest pseudo-AI are question and answer. Despite being sensitive to pauses and speech loudness, voice recognition does not require training for specific individuals. Laboratory research is still in its infancy. When in telepresence mode, the operator communicates with the outside world through Skype. The operator wears a headset and receives a video feed from the cameras in Alicia's eyes. The business is testing reasonably straightforward EEG setup that will let the user control the base of the robot solely with their thoughts. The 2045 initiative, which predicts that androids will be widely used by the end of the decade, collaborates closely with Neurobotics. Such projections should be treated with extreme caution though, given the depressing reality of the current state of the art in nations like Japan. 